breath. Hey traders, welcome to episode 604 of the show. You could be doing anything, but you're here, and I really appreciate it. It's Sunday, going on Monday. Monday for some, I guess. Asia's waking up in a couple hours. Uh, less than two hours until that daily, weekly, and four-hour close. Just looking at the 60-minute chart right now on the corn, Bitcoin. Remember the cipher? Devastating, man. Devastating. And uh, kind of wedged, right? Two down sloping converging trend lines break out. And uh, from the high point to low point, we hit a 50% retrace, which uh, if one was ever trading any sort of wedge, that would be a profit taking level. And also you've got secondary target at 11,600 or so. We know that's also an option. And uh, we do have square ups on the way there. You know, I mean, see, the thing is, there are square ups on both sides now to the upside and downside. So a clear path for Bitcoin, it's just not there right now on the daily. And so, again, it just makes it more nebulous to where you've got like a square up. Right here, 11.3. Got another one. 11, 7, 11, 8. And then you got a major one all the way up around 12, 9. Okay, so we got square ups to the upside, but then, you know, you got square ups to the downside too. Okay, square up, and then there is. Um, <clears throat> There's square ups down here, way down here, but uh, I would think that the next square for Bitcoin to the downside would be like 9400 again, but there's just so many square ups to the upside that we can uh, talk about and, and identify. All right, so Barley says, I mean, I, I get it, man, like the dragon pattern maybe, right? And it's really, I'm trying to figure out how to draw this. It's just more like the... Um, You've got the, the head here, 
and then you break down and then you've got the feet and then you'd be creating the tail second profit like first profit taking level is really at these levels and, and really hold on i think um we're gonna look at it i gotta change the color up i guess a drawing and dragon pattern people are like you're crazy man you're freaking crazy dragon okay all right profit taking level if one's trading dragon and then the second profit taking level is going to be up here the tail so you've got the head the feet and the tail of the dragon yeah and it's not like it's real dude it's real dragon patterns are real not sure if we got it though here but uh larley thinks that it's possible but again you know that or the inverse head and shoulders pattern right that uh, isn't over yet it's not done you just have not been able to break the eleven thousand mark which was resistance from july 16th currently we're uh you know ten thousand six hundred thirty one. still in the red on the day about 130 dollars so just give it time uh we you know bullishly engulfed yesterday but it wasn't a very large candle and it was the weekend daily right so you know bullish engulfing yet hey, we were bearish engulfing for a while and just till recently we started uh, rallying so uh you look where you are man you're at that heart line you just can't break the heart line of the downsloping channel right and you're point one and two and three and you're just right there man so yes of course there's still upside potential but it is just not as clear because the daily is not giving us much indication to believe there's impending price action reversal of the upside okay but uh, i'll tell you what one thing that could happen just think about it like this say we do continue to rally a little bit more right and when we we rally more on price we would uh keep waning on negative momentum maybe go a little green but then something could happen where we then sell off to lower lows slightly lower lows and when we do that we start making negative momentum again and then what you get is a lower slightly lower low with uh, lower levels of negative momentum and on the daily mother of god right <clears throat> mother of god where you have this idea talking about the gartley man Seven eight six PCZ. You should be looking for, and there's support down here too on candle closes. And from your previous uh, low to high, that's a one two seven two fib extension right around there. Okay, so PCZ um, on the daily to make me feel more confident for a major swing, a major move like a something that just has a much higher probability of playing out versus some sort of sixty minute four hour inverse scrubby head and shoulders, right? Uh, this would be much more momentous and could be very reliable in time. But that could take us till August. You'd be ready for that, man. So, anyway, man. What's up, chat? Oh, uh, also, uh, Ion Chakra, thanks for the $2 super chat <clears throat> for the stream even started, man. Thank you, dude. Okay. So you're just waiting for the daily to show us something. All we did was make a low, a lower low, higher levels of negative momo. That is bearish convergence, where you make lows, lower lows, higher levels of negative momo, right? Because what is your price action doing? It's doing this. What is your what are your oscillators doing? They're also doing the same thing, right? They're like parallel price action and oscillator. So that's convergence. And divergence is when, you know, say you're making a lower low on price. And then you're making lower levels of negative momentum. I know it looks like convergence. It's not though. It's still considered divergence, right? Where you make a, a low on price, a lower low on price, and lower levels of negative momentum. I know that can be confusing, but uh, hey, I did a static. We're well, not a static video on it, but I did it. I did education on convergence, divergence, and hidden divergence live. I think last week. Create, clipped it. It's on the Patreon feed. If you're a patron, you haven't seen that very valuable education okay this is a new show that I changed my name uh, Arlo um, amnesia is not a good thing man man I want to get that checked out 
Everything's the same, right? What's up, uh, Triscuit? He was first. MP built performance. Maurice. What's up, Brian Lang? Uh, Donald Atkinson. Thomas F. Jacob M. Eric Hale. What's up, dude? Hey, what's up, uh, Dan? Tell Melissa I say hello. The Iowa Jesus people's in the house. What's up, my fellas, two times? Ivan. James Mark, the second. Two first names, right? What's up, uh, Iceberg? Crypto420. All the good people's in the house. We're just uh, looking at Bitcoin on the daily, talking about a situation or scenario where um, we could have a much more reliable long position in time where we would be seeing the 87 to 8900 area which we got very close to right i mean 9100 just hundreds of dollars off but it just wasn't the uh it wasn't the pcz exactly nor was it any kind of fib extension either so because 1272 is the first fib extension right i'm sorry thanks dude mint damon mike m hello randy bobandy product guitarist Double connect. There you go, Bradford man. I guess that. Is. More Matt Damon connects, dude. Y'all are crazy, man. Can we say this is a real bullish flag? And if so, is it already one week past after the flag formed? Three to four weeks for flag continues. By the moon, Faz, you're asking that question. Um, let me pull up just a clean chart of Bitcoin. You know, I was like doing that. People bringing up ideas and stuff. Okay. Two seconds. Okay, so someone's saying this is a daily flag. Um, well, flags normally don't, from their impulse, flags normally don't go 62% retraces. They normally go between 23% and 38%. So, um, if someone wants to just do like the channel we had, but not the equidistant, they just make it like this. Well, I'll tell you, uh, I don't think there's anything wrong with price action we're getting. I mean, look, if you have a long run like this and you're downsloping consolidation, um, that's good, right? Downsloping consolidation is very good. And why is that, right? Because when you have downsloping consolidation, People that know what they're doing are able to accumulate at areas of value, and you can't really find areas of value without really looking at the Fibonacci. Okay, so from your low point to a high point, 38% uh, retrace, which is the beginning of the golden zone. So we actually did hit it, which is awesome. But, uh, you know, and when you hit each Fib node, you're looking for a price action reversal, right? So even if we had not even hit it yet, you'd be looking like this, this, or this. Tizzes. Is that a join? Tizzes. Tizzes connect. Hi in the chat for the tiz is. Bruh. Thanks, 420, Ion, Chakra. Super chat and the contribution. Much love. Okay, so the, the, you know we're we're looking for areas for reversals. To the extent of how high we reverse is unknown, though, right? So uh, since we did hit a three eight two, we've reversed our price action, right? But uh, to the extent of how high we've gone is nothing really yet, right? It's nothing. And if it was a flag of any sort, good God. Before we even got to the top of the flag, we we would have to be at like twelve thousand dollars. It's talking like fourteen hundred more dollar gains before even hitting the top of the flag, and then after that breaking it. Okay, well, if that's the case, I mean there truly is upside potential. But if you're in the middle of a downsloping channel or flag, whatever you want to call it, uh, dead zone, that just means like it could literally flip a coin, it could run to the upside or downside. Okay, though we know, you know, in the shorter term time scales that uh, we have broken a downsloping resistance, right? Right, like that. You broke that, you're out of it. So yeah, you very well could run to the upside. But just as easy as you could run to the upside, we know from the high point to low point, we retrace 50% of the way and no higher, we could just as easily sell off and run down one more time. And that would be amazing. 
to like bear, like selling off now or running up a little bit more, making a lower high and then selling off again would be extremely good based on, you know, I, I'd like us to run up more just so we could keep losing this negative momentum and get back to neutral. Because again, if we can do that, when we begin to sell off again, we can go much lower, make a double bottom, slightly lower low, hit 8760, 8800, and that would be the Garley PCZ. And if you have a huge pattern like that, like this, with bullish divergence on the daily, in a bull trend, a bullish pattern. No 420 today, you get 604. Good stuff, Mitch. Keep drowning us in TA knowledge. Bruh. Crypto Fish, thanks for the 604 Super Chat. And then Thomas Fitzgerald, thank you for the 199 Super Chat. Uh, he says, thanks for all you do, bro. Well, thank you for uh, watching and thanks for the support, dude. All of you are amazing. Okay, this is the best community in crypto. Best people. All right. And uh, it's a great honor to be able to stream in front of y'all and just uh, try to show you the stuff I learned in my 20s. Just trying to pass it on, man. From much smarter people than me, I learned from much smarter people. It's not my TA, it's others. And just brought it together into a mixing bowl of, you know, what I think is good and what works for me, right? So, thank y'all. So, uh, does that make sense, man? We're always looking for some sort of really nice setup. And a legendary setup, again, could be a running up slightly higher, 618, 786, maybe even the top of the flag before selling off again, making a double bottom slightly higher low or a slightly lower low, especially at 88 day, 8700. My mother of God, dude. That would be a, just so nice if we could get that, all right, in time. But for now, man, again, at the heart line of the flag channel, whatever you want to call it, could break the upside break the downside it would be nice to break the upside first so we can keep losing all this negative momentum i would not want to see us keep start building negative momentum again all of a sudden that would not really what you're looking for okay and really if we ran up to the upside more then the rsi would go up more and that would mean eventually you know um once we hit a peak a lower high and solve again we can maybe get rsi bullish divergence too and that would be amazing so okay sorry just going into the i mean why not man just going into it pretty in depth. Why? Because the weekly closes in less than two hours, an hour and forty minutes or something. Oh, let's talk about the weekly real quick because we haven't yet. Remember? Remember how we've not been able to? Not once this year have we been able to have a candle close on the weekly above eleven thousand five hundred. Just couldn't do it, man. Very, uh, very important, man. We just couldn't do it. We've one failure, two failures, three failures. I mean, third time's a charm with a bearish engulfing tweezer top. And since then, we've sold off. But uh, in the midst of the selling, we have rallied and bounced off of a critical old overhead resistance from April of 2018. We're above it still. Good. Because if you hold, if you can't hold that, we will going to be going down to 8,200 probably pretty fast. So this is just the weekly candle. You are sandwiched between two different resistance supports, PSRs, whatever. And that's uh, that's all there really is to it on the weekly. The RSI is out of over bot territory again. You had that class C divergence, right? Double topped. Doesn't exactly mean impending price action reversal, but it does mean stagnation in momentum. And from that double top, we sold off and are still looking very good on the RSI 69. You had to be so good. I'm sorry. What was that? Still lots of positive momentum, but it's beginning to wane a little bit, right? Remember, these these candles can definitely signify reversals. So just take heed of that. Is as decent, I guess. I mean, this seems just more like some indecision. Buying pressure came in to push this back above critical support so stay above uh you know what is it 9600 long enough you'll be all right man disappointing we were just like 300 dollars, 250 dollars off the pcz of the gartley on the daily oh, yeah Whew. dang fayos thanks for the Nice words. I appreciate that a lot. Keep trying the best I can to do it, okay? So 
So let me uh, check out some more chat. What's up, Taurus? Conrad. What are you going to eat tomorrow, Justin? Saying, I don't know. Smoked salmon? You ask, so. What's up, Raby? Oh my god, your name's Rabies. What's up, uh, Moon Moonshine Fuel? Crypto uh, Trader, thanks. Glad you like the new look. Face Connect? It's Double Connect. Just insane. Uh, sure, dude. Of course. I guess we can go back in on like the four hour or something. So yeah, like I said, man, this is what we got going. You just, I, I believe at this point, you've got an upsloping channel. All right, you're trying to be bullishly engulf on the four hour, hour and a half left. You know how that goes, man. We've seen it where it looks so good up until the next, the last 15, 30 minutes of the daily, weekly, and then it just dumps. So, I mean, uh, it was like left shoulder head, right shoulder, still making a higher low, still trying to rally back above that heart line that was once used as resistance and support. You fell below it, now you're trying to get back above it. I tell you this, you don't want to stall at 10,800. Stalling at 10,800 all of a sudden paints a potential left shoulder head, right shoulder with a slanted neckline. Don't want to do that, man. That's a bearish pattern and a potentially bearish trend for the short term. Right, and this equidistant channel signifies the short-term down, the shorter-term downtrend, or the flag, as some would want to call it. Okay. Uh, when we go up, we go up and go down. We go down, but sometimes just uh, two blockchains, man. You know, technical analysis is not about being right and wrong, but sometimes there are lulls in the market where it is not near as clear as it would be at other times. So, uh, you know, you can joke all you want, man, but yeah, uh, market is random. Market can be very random most of the time, but there are times when you hit tops and bottoms where there are stupid amounts of indicators that tell us that a bottom or top is in or coming to be, right? So whatever, man. Like I can't make the daily look favorable right now. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> crypto geezer, you should meet. What's it? Crypto granny. Y'all should definitely go on a date. Chat. Would y'all like to see that? Crypto geezer and crypto granny going out to eat or something? I got you. Two blockchains. Noah's coin request. Tell us how you're doing, Mitch. Is that a join? Bob K, thanks for the 420 super chat. Appreciate it a lot. How am I doing? <clears throat> doing pretty well, man. The sun's out. Summertime. I don't know, man. Just trying to live my best life, I guess. Continuing on getting my house renovated, getting it ready to sell so I can begin a new chapter in my life. Maybe somewhere else. So it's just the weekend, though. Things slow down on the weekend, don't they? Sometimes not, like Bitcoin, right? We've had some of our best rallies on the weekend on the way up. But as it stands now, you're trying to make higher highs, but you still got a long way to go, right? And the daily's not giving us indication to believe uh, the selling's done, but we know we're waiting on negative momentum so we could rally higher, get the 50% again, get the 618, 11.6, and then sell off and then go to those lower lows, slightly lower lows. Di divergence would be amazing. And then we could take our real big long on the Gartley at uh, 8,800, 8,700, whatever. Tim, I don't know, man. You'd have to ask her. Crypto Geezer says, bring her on. Oh, my God. Oh, would you look at this? Dude. Chat is hype.
Uh, I'm still moving. I just don't know. I haven't confirmed I'm going to Austin or not yet. Still a couple things in life that are personal that I've got to make sure are final or not. But again, I, I mean, I wouldn't worry about it if y'all, if I were y'all. It's just a precipice of enormous crossroads or something. Okay. So let's look at uh, Ethereum Connect that uh, we did a study video on today. Went into this thoroughly. Though it is like overall in an uptrend and hit the bottom of the uptrend, it's uh, bounced in the short term. It is in a downtrend, right? Until you break above however long it takes you to get there, $240, right? $250. Until you break this geometrical trend line, you're still in the downtrend. So, I mean, from your high to low, you hit a 23% retrace here. And no, it seems fine. It still seems okay. The fact that uh, we're still we're making slightly higher lows in the short term, and if we could ever break, really the neckline or big resistance is 234. You break 234, you're probably gonna have a real uh, nice move up to like 250, 260. Okay, so the the resistance, if you're a bull, that you want to break is 234, 235. All right. That's on Ethereum. I won't go too much into it just because. What's the point, man? We did a static video. Go check out the static video if you're an Ethereum Connect fan. All right. Litecoin, similar situation. Where you've just got <clears throat> resistance that we were unable to break yesterday. Um, at uh, you know, from May 16th, 104, 105, right? Multitude of times. And here you are. You're back down to another level. Okay, so the big resistance that you must break is 105, 106 for Litecoin. And then right after that, you've got the downsloping resistance, which won't be easy to break. So uh, the fact is, though, from the height to low point, you did retrace 38% of the way, reversed your price action to the downside. You did it twice. And so uh, it all depends on Bitcoin. You think Litecoin's going to run up if Bitcoin starts dumping? Not going to happen, man. So... Again, all eyes on Bitcoin right now. It is kind of nebulous. Uh, it does seem like the fact that we did have a breakout of a downtrend or a short-term velocity trend, right, with the you know, that geometrical trend line we broke. We're making higher lows right now. So it does seem very possible we could run to the upside again, but it is just not near as certain as it could be because of the daily and the weekly. The weekly, man, the bearish engulfing that was painted last Sunday. When I was in Austin, we were at some, where were we again? Prago Taurus in here? I don't know. My music stopped. Hold on. Sorry. I think we're good now. Sweet. So all these altcoins kind of look similar, don't they? Yes, they do. Except maybe... XRP Connect? What? Yeah, XRP is uh, doing something a little different. Quite possibly, anyway. You know, one could anchor point one and two here, and we're not even close. But just from one, two, three, four on the bottom, and then one and two here, you have broken it, you're holding it and back testing it, and now you're trying to break off of it again. Uh, extremely important resistance 34.1. It's like. 35.8, 35.1 cents. Sorry, it's 34.1 cents or so. You got to break that. We're just not really making, I mean, we're making shorter term higher highs, which is great, but uh, not really. I mean, look, 34 cents, 34.9 cents. You can't break, you got to break that eventually. There's a square up at uh, 35.732 cents. There's another square up at 39.168 cents. Another major square up, way up at like 47.8 cents. Uh, no more square ups really the downside, I don't think. I mean, I guess there's one down here at like 29.8 cents. Yeah, never got touched. So 
there's a low risk, lower risk, higher reward opportunities uh, based on the selling that happened. Let me look at look at what happened to XRP, man. It hit this crazy area and bounced once more. I mean, now, you know, just like la that one time we had the falling wedge, we broke out, we ran up, hit, uh, I think, one target, maybe. And then just went sideways forever and then finally hit the la <laughs> Dude, it's like stable coin, right? Range bound until you broke it and back tested it and you just got a new range. And you had like an up thrust. Right, you had an up thrust where you breached the resistance but could never sustain prices above it. Fell back below it, rallied one more time, failed, plummeted. And then, one, I mean, you didn't even test this area as support. You just dumped through it. So now here we are. It's like two different sections, two different little quadrants. You're at the bottom now. Let's say it's not a quadrant, just uh, just ranges, man. And you were at the bottom of a range and now you're about halfway to the top side. There, I think there's a lot of, there will be a lot of resistance at 36.7 cents. But you know, if one was taking a trade on a falling wedge breakout of some sort, then uh, the 50% retrace is normally the minimum target. 39.669 cents, man. Excuse me. Uh, if you're enjoying the live stream, hit that like, that like button, that bell, that's up. Holy crap. Gotta do my cadence, man. So we just looked at the, the big ones, I guess. I guess we look at uh, Bitcoin Cash too, all right. So old Bitcoin Cash, still in a rut, can't, hasn't broken anything yet, right? It's okay. Hey, if Bitcoin's in a dragon, this one's definitely a dragon too, right? Marley man. Looks like the head, the feet, and the tail. But you're not gonna, you're gonna fail to launch if you can't break above 336 at some point. Uh, soon, in, in time, uh, eventually if you just go sideways, you'll eventually run into it at 327. So, still in a downtrend. And if you go from your high point to low point, to the golden zones between 354 and 415. So reasonable targets, uh, you know, breaking out could be 384 or 415 or both, right? And this is all dependent on Bitcoin. Okay, the macro is Bitcoin. What's up, uh, Patriots, man? Hey, Myron Gaines. Come on, music. Oh, if you ever hear about an S coin called uh, Asgard, it's a scam, dude. It's a big, major scam. The Russian bots were uh, spamming some of my static videos telling you to buy into Asgard. Don't do it. If you hear of Asgard, just think scam. Asgard scam, Asgard scam, crypto scam. Chat, you hear me? Don't touch it unless you want to get wrecked. Thanks for the uh, 700 people tuned in right now. Yeah, Bob K, I guess so, man. Turning in a matchmaker for crypto granny, crypto geezer, dude. Hype. Very good, man. So access denied, Paul Murray. Thanks again for the look at the TA I posted on Patreon chat. I've made my noob mistakes, but I keep getting better every day because of this community. Well, man, mistakes are a great way to learn and we have a community that has got your back to show you the ways right of where you maybe made a mistake that's a uh, that's amazing dude and getting better every day though it seems just very little get better every day for 365 days in a row what's well, going to happen man uh, those small you know small gains you made turn into a lot so you just got to think about working on something getting better every day and you got to be consistent with it get into a habit of uh, investing in yourself right so uh, thank you, uh, Brian, 
Brian R for the five dollar super chat. Much love. Okay. Yes, Asgard scam. Asgard scam. The chat just go blank. Okay, we're getting hacked by them, right? Well, it's not about uh, people waiting for Bitcoin to crash, Bill. It's more like people, I think they're just, there are areas of value that are slightly lower than where we hit. And um, you want to see, like, on more significant time scales like the daily, divergence. Bruh. Andreas, man, thank you for the 499 super chat. Really appreciate it. Gangs, dude, gangs. Aldwick Driveways, thanks for the sub, man. Welcome. Yeah, so, uh, like, dragon patterns. Okay, I guess. I'll try, man. I'll try my best on these. Uh, it's really, like, a harmonic in a way, man. Okay. Or you'll just, uh, you'll have, like, a, you know, a big move up from maybe a downtrend already. And you dump. You rally up again. You dump. You have another rally, and then you dump, and something happens. What will happen is there's like a trend line that's created. Okay, and when you break that, that's a lot of times the the geometrical breakout where you, one could enter the trade on the breakout, and you run up and. Normally, when there's a swing high or something, it can be a first profit taking level. Yeah, hold on. Crap. Profit taking level there. And then the second profit taking level of the dragon's the head where it started. Okay. Profit taking level one, profit taking level two. So it just, uh, you know. And then your tail is up here, right? This is the tail, right? It's like a, why is it the tail? Because it extends on longer than like, right? You've got the, you got the head. I guess I can do it like this, right? Got like the tail, all right? It's just all of this from the breakout, all right? The tail extend on, right? Get it? So, head, legs, tail, dragon connect. <laughs> hey, uh, MG, thanks for the two dollar super chat. Jeremy, thanks for the two dollar super chat. Kind of repetitive song. No, I'm not getting it, man. Johnny, what is that? High on subscribers, then higher bitrate? Bro, I'm at 12,000 bitrate right now, man. You can't go higher than that, actually. So, get wrecked. Okay, does that help anyone? Bueller, to some extent? What, Panu on Discord, man? So, like, uh, you know, if you had a dragon here, maybe it could be like. See, the thing is on this one, though, I feel like if it was a dragon, then you had already broken the resistance, right, with the legs. 
the legs is like where that uh, that peak right there is where like anchor, anchor point from the head to the top where the feet are and you broke it right so a uh, profit taking level 355 and then the you know exit would be like 420 is that a joint or something like that right you know what i'm saying like the heads the legs and then the tail is going on right now Bitcoin Cash just kind of like a uh, Bitcoin itself drag carries connect there you go Julia perfect <clears throat> that's right Ash I did Certainly did roar like a dragon or like a bloodlust did, right? From Warcraft or something. Okay. So just remember so far. I mean, just think about it like this, right? Like high to low, high point to low point for Fibonacci, retrace 23%. When we hit the golden zone, though, what happened? We hit it 38% retrace, the first Fib node. You sold off. Made a higher low, route again, hit the 50% retrace, sold off. To the extent of how far you, you retrace or you sell off after you reverse your price action, unknown. But we're making higher lows for now, aren't we? Justin Snyder, thanks for the one super chat. Kingsman. I mean, like, people saying we could go to 2000 we could go to $10 trillion, right? We could go to 2000 again. How's that helpful in the shorter term? Like, that doesn't, that's like not real analysis. That's just like philosophy, I believe, and maybe in a year or two, we'll go to 2000 maybe. But like, how does that help someone? Like, okay, it's one thing to be like this, right? Where... We're looking for entries on the daily where we know like we've made an impulse. We're losing negative momentum. We want to keep losing our negative momo, rally up some more, sell off, make that lower high than our previous highs, then sell off to another area and potentially get bullish divergence on the oscillators. And that's the that's a great entry for a trade for more upside potential. Could be much higher. But to say I just feel like we could go to two thousand. Two thousand, dude. When we're up here, it just doesn't even, how is that even analysis? I, I mean, say it gets there, congratulations, it got there. What does that mean? Does that mean I need to go short right now? No, it doesn't mean any of that. So, Fritz wishes he was in a triangle. Uh, I think if you pay enough, you could, you could do that, man. I hope that BTC slash US doesn't completely reverse to bearish, as of that previous big bearish engulfing in that resistance which we couldn't break yet. Uh, Haman Music, thanks for the 352 of Bitcoin Cash. Well, of course, no one, I mean, like, you know, more people want to be long on Bitcoin than short, right? And uh, big bearish engulfing in that resistance which we couldn't break. Yeah, yeah, I, I hear you, man. But I just think that there's just you gotta you gotta be patient. All right, you gotta be real patient on significant time scales. You can't rush it, man. You can't. I can't make the daily MACD look good. It just doesn't look good yet. It looks fine because we're losing negative momentum, and that means the you know it would just make sense, right? If tomorrow, the next day, we just kept creeping on up to higher, like you know. Again, until you break above like 12, 6, 13K, you're not making higher highs. But you can keep rallying for the next few days or something. And then uh, lose the negative momo and then sell off again. Make a double bottom or slightly lower low. And then we could look for opportunity with divergence. And a bullish trend for the most part. Bullish trend with divergence. Mother of God, that's like the holy grail. That's what you're looking for, man. Thanks, Mr. Shaverman, for the two super chat. Whew. 
What's up, Melissa? Hi in the chat. Or Melissa. Sorry, just reading. What did I do? I got rid of my beard. Right, no beard anymore. Beard connect. That's an image. Holy crap. Apex, I can't. <clears throat> I cannot. I don't know how I'm supposed to do anything with that. If you want to post a chart, you can post it in Discord. We look at the simple moving averages. See how we're doing there. So, uh, <clears throat> bouncing, you know, we fell below the 50, which was concerning, but, you know, we're bouncing back above it, but we're not. Look, yesterday, we ran up, touched the 20 day moving average perfectly at 11,100, and then just rejected it and just going sideways. So, it just seems like after this impulse up, we are just uh, three days of indecision, pretty much indecision, chat. Where do we go? Where do we go? We did break out of a short term geometrical downtrend, but, uh, Still indecisive. Okay. That's your moving averages. Uh, you're in the equilibrium zone. The equilibrium zone for candles are being between the 50 day and the 20 day moving average. Right there. Lost all my kilobytes per second. Gosh dang, dude. Throttled. George Soros. No, I don't do EMAs. I do simple moving averages. Curie. Yeah, I'm on. Sure. But on those higher time frames, uh, I mean, you've made a consecutive lower highs and lower lows now. So you can't ignore that. And you can't ignore that the oscillators just don't look that great yet. So, part of Monster. Apex funny moments, what tab did you do? Or did you ping me or something? If you uh you don't want to like miss my live streams, chat, just join our Discord. Uh, because that is like there's no way you can miss when I go live or post a video. There's no way. YouTube, they're tenuous. It's a weak notification system. You miss all the time. So if I go live because there's market price action at a random time. And you're not part of a discord there's a probability a pretty decent probability you will not get notified and you will have no idea that i'm live so highly recommend joining our discord uh, over four thousand members now or something crazy it's blowing up man we actually it got to a point during the fomos that we we had to stop promoting it because uh you know people were joining that were like moon boys and we're like freaking out like buy now buy now sell now right it's like we just gotta get we can't that's like against our TOS. Yeah, 4,134 members. Hive in the chat for Discord. There it is. Posting the link now. So go ahead and join up. People have been joining today. How do you crypto tip? Uh, there's a link in the description below called One Up Coin if you want to tip in crypto, man. Jurgen, what do you think about Google? What do you mean, what about it, man? They own YouTube, Amazon owns Twitch. I saw some girl on Twitch. I think it was an old video or something. Someone brought it up though. And they took a shot of vodka and had a little bit of left in their mouth and they fed, they fed it to their cat live on Twitch and that girl did not get banned. Nothing even happened. And the cat like, bleh, bleh, like freaked out. And it's like, bruh. Just joined the Discord. Do it, I'm in the chat. All right, there we go. Thanks for all the new members in Discord. Let's just keep it growing, man. Extremely active. I mean, you can't find general chat it, there, like any time of the day or night, uh, general chat is going. So uh, this is a community for crypto and trading and charts and candles and everything, right? This is the one. 
the one dude no FOMO in discord chat exactly Bradford the community agreement exactly okay so uh, I'm sorry So uh, let's get gold. <clears throat> Why not, man? Gold on the daily. Uh, you know, just as you had a breakout, you have bearishly engulfed and reversed. <clears throat> For now, 1424, we got as high on gold as 1452. And now it seems like we're following up some price action. Right after the engulfing. Uh, almost just kind of a close and reverse right there. But either way, man, I think with uh, golds, you're now uptrending very well. Uh, it's very nice, man. All right, the breakout of the, you know, I'm sure if you've been watching the stream, you understand with golds, this analysis hasn't changed at all. It's just uh, been going on for years, and something happened where you finally broke the down sloping neckline of the complex slanted inverse head and shoulders, and now you're rallying, and some analysts think that uh, the breakout of this in time can manifest into all-time highs, which is uh, 1921. 1921. But uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves and just talk about a measured move that we can see in time of the pattern, which is around 1650. So slowly but surely making your way. All right, on gold. Very cool, dude. Jan Williams says, I love the Discord. Some of the combos get unreal. It makes your day really it's fun, bro. Yeah, it's fun. It really is. A lot of fun. Puma Pay Pump looking at the technical analysis. How bullish are you and the in Bitcoin long term? I mean, how long term, man? TA changes all the time. So, uh, in log scale, Bitcoin's uptrend is definitely in jeopardy. Right? Where we had all the touch points in the bottom and on the top, we had the, just that first impulse, the bullish Gartley, remember? Bam. That was it, dude. And so we hit the top of it and then closed and reversed. And we've just been uh, making lower highs, lower lows ever since. You fell out of the channel. And you're really trying to get back into it. All right, so the end is three days of indecision. Well, it's about to be three days. We got an hour and two minutes left until your uh, weekly and daily close. I'm going to try to stick around for you for that. Well, that's kind of interesting, right? How you got out. That's okay, man. It does happen time sometimes when you break out of a channel. Um, eventually, you might just have to make an adjustment. But for now, I'm leaving it the same as it was. Okay. Again, still waiting for 8,800. Future chart. Well, you're clearly out of this one, aren't you? Yeah. Clearly, dude. Oh my god, there we go, there we go. Alright, so uh, yeah, you fell out. You did in fact fall out of the channel on the future chart. Right, it was a beautiful uptrend in long scale. You had to do the long scale, exponential growth. So, uh, yeah, for now it's just... The down sloping channel 
And these are the parameters until you break above 12,500 or 12,000, however long it takes you to get there, right, moving target. Uh, you're still, you're remaining in a downtrend until that breaks, okay? So there's like a gap fill up at like 11,700. So easily get run up to that point. Couldn't you? Yeah. 11.7. And there's like a square up at uh, 13,175. But very good looking, uh, and you have to keep, you're keeping a log scale here. So yes, 11.7 could be a target for a gap fill. That's it. On the features. Kingsman. Cool though on the uh, futures chart how we actually hit the bottom of the channel for bouncing. Nice bullish engulfing candle and kind of flagging. Right, impulse up, kind of down slope consolidation, could be setting up higher prices on the futures chart. All right, but look what happened when you broke out, you back tested and failed and then sold off again. So eventually, yeah, you'll see this upslope and resistance play a role. All right, it'll be very interesting to see if we get, ever get back into that. Okay. You know, futures and spot price are about the same right now. Not like we've been seeing in the past where it was up hundreds and hundreds of dollars above spot price. Okay. Connect, XRP Connect, everyone's talking about, looks like. <clears throat> What's up, Alex Cobb, man, in the house? Bruh. Oh, wait, for Alex Cobb, though, we'll do, uh, we'll do this one. XRP going to the moon. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Cobb gets it, man. talking about people just keep talking about Libra coin like what are y'all worried about with Libra coin dude okay man so uh good XLM it seems squared up around 9.5 cents and doesn't sold off you are right now trying to bearish engulf a little bit uh, but uh, here's the thing, man. It's like you were range bound to some extent, right? You got towards the bottom of the range, hit a 95% retrace and bounced, but no higher since. So, I mean, just from the high point to low point, uh, between 10.8 cents and 12.9 cents, that's the golden zone. That's where you should expect price action versus the downside. But we have not gotten even close. We've only hit the 23% retrace and no higher. So that's a XLM. Very cool, man. After a major dump, good God. And now it's just why uh, coffee in. All right. I mean, mixed bag. I guess mostly everything's in the red today, down a decent amount. Like you know, XLM today's down four percent. ADA. That idea potentially where I, we get one more sell off to the PCZ of the uh, potential bullish cipher. Huge pattern. I mean, think about the beginning of the pattern being December 9th, 12th, 15th, whatever, 2018. If you could ever get down to the 786, man, this will be a great opportunity. And just because it's 786 can flew with the 1414, that area right there. Gotta love that. But yeah, so far you just held critical support. 
from January 9th, uh, December 23rd, 2018, right there. That's what you bounced off of. Simeon, well, I don't really know if, if I've been live streaming, people have ever made love. It's never been reported anyway, so. Chat, tell me the truth. He said it was baby making music. All right, so. I don't know, man. See, now I've been live for, hey, one hour. Look, on the eights. I'm gonna get. What's up, uh, Bulbazar? I don't know if I'm digging the music today. I mean, it's okay. It's just not as good as the other stuff I've had. Oh, yeah. And Neo. Neo also down 3% or so, right? What did it do? Spectacular, man. It hit the bottom of, of our channel that we've had plotted and bounced. Uh, yet it's hitting the heart line. The heart line we've hit many times before. And it failed. Like every other time. Like most other times, right? And that's it so far. High to low. Uh, nearly a 38% retrace before selling off. It's okay though, man. Again, slow, significant time skills. Uh, something like that, Brian. PCZ. Like 4.3. 4.3. Man. Neo Connect, man. Just uh, something that's just lost its freaking soul, man. Never really recovered. Not even close. You know, from all time highs or even the Altcoin Spring of 2018 high. Hmm. Seems like loud. God, dude. We'll get. Awesome, man. Thanks, man. Glad uh, you enjoy it. Dash. <sighs> Terrible, man. Very, very bad. I mean, nothing special either, right, on this one. It was like you had a channel, you fell out of it and blasted back above it, which is fine. You got as low as, geez, 95 bucks, not 118. Y'all keep saying I look fresh, but I have a 5 o'clock shadow, right? A stubble. From your previous low to high, we pretty much hit a 1618 Fib extension before bouncing. Wow. How about that? Uh, there was no uh, divergence here either. Crazy enough, man. Bruh. Definitely play drinking games with the old lady along with the stream, but anything more than that is weird. Glad you're here to make these charts more understandable for us degenerates. Chris Piss, thanks for the threes, man. I uh, really appreciate it. A lot, dude. So he won't go any further than they play drinking games. All right, leave it up to the imagination. All right, man. Yet the set of music kind of boring. I agree. One sec. All right, so uh, again, there wasn't really much of a, a reversal. Uh, you know, you could have considered it a potential, some sort of spring or something, right, where it sold off, it broke a critical support from April of 2019, 
and then just couldn't keep selling. The extension was there and then just broke back above it and it's still above it. But again, you're still screwed, I think, on Dash unless you break 125 or so. Tree. 356 or 3506 thanks for the one xrp from the via the xrp tip bot thanks man all right so of course maybe we can make an adjustment now on the bottom side right like just like one and two now and have this is three and that's the case you're still inside the downtrend until you're not okay so from the height of the structure, the low point, how far we retraced, only 23%. So it does seem like if these assets are going to, all these assets are gonna like recover and hit their golden zones, they all still have another block or two to go. And I'm talking about blocks, just talking about fib nodes, you know. If you're at the 23%, the 382 is the beginning of the golden zone. So 131, 142, 153, all potential reversal areas. Clean stubble though, uh, is that even real? I mean, it is clean. Sure, Ed, cool. I guess so, man. But I mean, like, you know, is there really like a revived community besides XRP that exists out there? I don't think any really revived or recovered. <laughs> Go Washington, how to get the heart line? Hey, Indigo, dude. Here you go, man. Trying's panel, make sure it's up. Click right here, go down to parallel channelman, and then create your channel, and then double click on it, and then go middle. That's it, dude. Literally it. Okay, Indigo, Washington, does that help? Hope it does. Cheers. Criteria of a parallel channel you must have three touch points two in the top one on the bottom two on the bottom one on the top criteria that's, that's mandatory for these channels you have to have that okay dash connect Bruh. I need a cold one hooking the fridge do it do it, uh, Mr. Good Stick Man. Thanks for the lead contribution. The Neo in the jar. Hilarious. Here's Neo on the charts, man. Very cool. Appropriate contribution or something, right? not on screen anymore what happened i have a big screen right so it cuts out everything all the noise so we can get a little bit more um in depth into something without distractions and all that right that's it man you'll be okay though Oh, thanks for all the new members uh, joining Discord. Been like, dang, dude, a lot of new members today. Thanks all for joining. Seriously, hit up our Discord if you want notifications when I go live, and you want to be part of uh, one of the most active communities in crypto for sure. And you know, maybe if it isn't the most active uh, crypto community, I don't know which one would be more active than ours in Discord. Um, then first like it's niche right these people like are interested in trading and charts so maybe the other one that's for the fundamentals i don't know just s posting i don't know we have plenty of s posting in general chat right but uh yeah definitely want to join our discord so the best way to get in contact with everyone in this chat and me after the stream ends is through discord so Definitely the most active. Yeah, probably, man. I mean, <clears throat> I would just think so. Certainly, dude. 
we blew up. We blew up and uh, others have faded into obscurity from other, you know, bull runs. Because they quit during the bear run. Or we were created during the bear run. And went every day throughout it. And thanks for the follows on uh, Instagram too. Holy crap, y'all are amazing. Yeah, I'm trying to grow my Instagram following now just because Snapchat is like dead. Twitter's just... Uh, I mean, you know, I use Twitter for like posting charts sometimes, but dude, Twitter's kind of toxic, man. Like, I'll post a chart just stating a fact and then people, you know, what do they call it? Just uh, armchair analysts will come in talking crap, being negative. It's like, dude, I don't need that. All right. I already live stream most, like twice a day most of the time anyway, right? Craig M, sure, man. It is your right. It is your right, dude. But my Instagram is right here. It's just MitchRayTA. Instagram.com slash MitchRayTA. And this is like where, you know, if I go travel and stuff, you want to see what I do, what I look at, where I am. Like, you can check out my story. And my albums and all that. And thanks for the, uh, I don't even know anymore. It's bugged out. It keeps lagging. Thanks for the 900 people tuned in. Thanks for the 248 likes. If you're enjoying the live stream, hit that like button, that bell, that sub. Amazing. We out here. Oh, dude, I'm such a peasant on Instagram, dude. Okay, so, you know, pretty, uh, pretty quiet Sunday. Not too much uh, price action, which is cool, I guess, right? Right, and all that's really happening, I think, is <clears throat> from breaking out of this downtrend, the short-term downtrend, we're now in a potential uptrend. Uh, slightly higher highs, higher lows for now. We got anchor point one and two on the bottom, one and two on the top. That's it. Below the heart line, trying to break back above it. But so, you know, that just means that there's always a chance we go down to 10,000 again, breaking the bottom of it for rallying. Or we can just bust up right now and run up to 11.5. It's just, there's just not as, uh, right, where there was divergence and all this. Hey, impending price action reversal. Well, we got the impending price action reversal. So, but now we're just in the midst of, Running up from the high point to low point, we had a 50% retrace. Dow's theory, Dow theory, says once you, you know, when you do reverse your price action and you begin to retrace, you retrace commonly 50% of the way before reversing your price action. My voice sounds like Jack Black. I think I've heard that before. How do you find me on Twitter? It's here, man. Um, just keep looking, man. Look for the little tweeter bird, dude. The logos, they're important. It was 23 in the back. That's me, dude. That's me. Here's Twitter, dude, at Lord Ray 23. But I look at Snapchat. Sure, dude. <clears throat> Falling wedge, targets acquired. Measure move hit, high point to low point, a 50% retrace is a target, a 60% retrace target. You know that. If you've been watching the stream, you understand that, right? So you just wedge. There was like a inverse head and shoulders, slanted inverse head and shoulders that was there too. Broke out, gapped up, gapped up again, filled the gap, rallied. And now, I mean, dude, you're in a crazy downtrend. I mean, not crazy, I guess, but like, uh, it was crazy until all this happened. Bruh. Company in Kerrville, Texas is starting a cable TV crypto channel and looking for TA analysts. Oh, uh, well, I guess you could send in my resume. Just send them the link to my channel. We'll see how it goes, man. All right. I just don't know how they'd be able to beat, you know, it's like a, a TV channel is kind of like, 
it's such a different dynamic <clears throat> than what we have here. Like I love engaging with the chat, answering the questions that you have, uh, building relationships with y'all. Like I feel like if you're on TV, you don't get to do any of that. You're just reading, you're just doing your thing and you're done, right? So there's no relationship building on TV. It's just, you know, this has been really fun for me to do. And it's so new, man. Like you couldn't do this for a living five years ago. Mm -mm. Yeah, Michael is a pretty lit man, but it has its place, right? It has its place uh, for 80s day, 80s night or whatever. Hey Dom, uh, 52 to 21, 52 to 21, roll tide. Get syndicated, connect. Yeah, let me just talk, talk to a restream. Hey, I'm going to do a cable television show and stream at the same time, Cabo. They said that about the Golf Channel when Arnold Palmer started it. Yeah, but dude, again, Arnold Palmer, Palmer never live streamed, right? What do you mean, can you, you've run out of money because you've tipped me so many times and you're asking to look at Nano WTC for the fifth time? What? Uh, no, I didn't ban you because I never unbanned you. If you were banned, I have to manually unban you. So only me, no one else can. So I know that you weren't banned before. Fibs and ribs, Broman's technical analysis. Nice one, James. Very nice. Okay, so we're going back to Snapchat, right? That uh, has hit targets of the wedge. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. But the daily. Guess what, man? I mean, you got highs on price, you got higher highs on price. Okay, you got a high on price, you got negative momentum on higher highs. It does seem likely that we would go sell off, right? You've hit the targets, man, of a trade for Snap. It's about all it should be for Snap. Not a long-term investment, man, on Snapchat, really. Snap's like dead, dude. I'm like quitting Snapchat pretty much for Instagram because Instagram does everything Snapchat does now and way, way more. We could just try here. I don't know. There you have it, man. All right. See, so just got a, an uptrend, and the bottom of the trend is around at 13.30. 13.37. There you go. Good stick, man. Let's just say 1337 is the bottom of the channel for him. Okay. On that daily, again, though, the divergence is very apparent here. I mean, like, there's no, like, you know, normally, like, yeah. Oh, my God, dude. Look. It was a high on price, a slightly higher high on price with almost inexistent positive momentum. That's extremely bearish. Class A bearish divergence. And uh, if you want to get technical here, you had bearish divergence on the uh, RSI as well. Okay. Okay. Good looking channel though. Good looking channel that has only hit a 60% retrace and no higher. Okay. Snapchat. Sweet dude. You did break out though of a down sloping channel though. You did do that, so that's great news. So one sofos. Can we get a Bitcoin Gartley? Of course. Did you see the beginning of the stream? If you didn't, rewind. And I talked about it. Thoroughly.
what is it? <clears throat> the first time I lean back in my chair and yell hype in the chat with Leroy Jenkins, they wouldn't know what to do on TV? Yeah, dude, they wouldn't. But guess what, man? Without the chat, there's no way we can even do it. There's no hype in the chat, man. Yeah, I guess, like, yeah, if they were just literally broadcasting me on cable while I do my stream, okay. But, dude, you just I can't do my stream without chat. Chat is extremely large part of it. It's much bigger than TV. I mean, not really, but it will be one day, collectively. Like, not just me. Like, just, like, everyone streaming and stuff. Yeah, I've been, and that's like obviously kind of childish, right? That's kind of like what a child does, like a kid who's like under 21 would say something like that, right? And uh, obviously, in a stream that's, you know, hey, look, dude, you can do it in like 98% of all chats, right? But this one's kind of like, dude, do you understand? You're eating like mental sushi here, or most of the other streams you go to are like eating Swiss cake rolls mentally. Big difference. So that doesn't really have a place here. The revolution will not be televised. All depends on what uh, you d you know you decide to be. Television. This is television now, right? People are watching me in their living rooms on their like big screens. So. So again, we got like 34 minutes left. I don't even know I'm going to make it. I mean, I've been live for an hour and 30 minutes now. It's just like not much going on. We covered all the, most of the alts, the bigger ones, you know. Checked them out. Gave them a lipids test, whatever. That's about it, dude. Brian Lang, yep, exactly. Any thoughts on the meeting? No, I don't have many thoughts. I got invited to the after party that was on the 25th in San Francisco, but I'm good, dude. Hunter Fox, I don't even know what that means. Okay, man. To the weekly, man. The weekly. What has it done? It has never been able to, you know, close above 11,500 weekly overhead resistance. And so when it tweezer double topped, whatever, bearishly engulfed, uh, we had a pretty violent <clears throat> response where we just sold, sold off really bad all the way down to really 9,100 before having a really nice rally throughout the week. And uh, it got all the way up to 11,125, which is a 200 moving average on the four hour. And we hit it and we sold off. And now we're just in the middle on the weekly, right? The middle of two. Um, you know, support resistances. Okay, so. So it just it seems like indecision after a bearish and golden candle. Much indecision. So weekly is not giving us much right now. Besides last week, it did give us something and it wasn't good. It was not good, man. Sure, Sean Rice. Whatever you want to. Hey, what's up, uh, Sean Hunter, man? Mr. Pitbull. All right, so what I'll do is I'll just uh, cut it short. You know, again, like hour and 30 minutes in, 30 minutes till the weekly close, I'll come back tonight and we can just reassess that weekly and what has happened from it, okay? So know that uh, we have broken out of a shorter term, little downtrend, whatever. And now we're kind of uptrending, but we're not making higher highs yet. We tried and failed, but maybe we're just flagging, getting ready to run again. 
But, dude, it's just like it's not that clear right now, right? It was clearer when we had the triple MACD bullish divergence, depending price action reversal, the bullish engulfing candle manifested into much higher prices, right? Yes, good. But right now, it could go either way. Okay. So thanks so much for the uh, likes, the love, the support, the contributions, the kind words, everything. Y'all are incredible. It's the best community. Again, be sure to join our Discord so you can get notifications when I go live or produce a video. You'll never miss it then. And you can stay connected to this community that is brimming with activity. All right. So I will just uh, see y'all back tonight, 11 p.m. Eastern. So until next time, respect the tea. Hey. It's me for you. It's you for me. I need the truth. The truth will set me free. Cause I don't want to hide anymore. Na, 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 na. Baby, I'm in. I'm in. I'm in.
Bruh. New Progressive Mix 47.
that a joint?
I have some evidence Van Bear Pig could be in this area. My name is JP. I'm a robot. I like robots. I have a robot vagina. Adios, turd nuggets.